Phil in Qatar. That's a, a long way away. Hey, Paul, good amplifiers are said to add nothing to or take anything away from the signal. And yet, different amplifiers do sound different. What is the cause of this and how does PS Audio manage this in your amplifiers? Well, think about this. This is always interesting to me. When you have these impossible conundrums, right? It is said that this and this are true, therefore, how could that be true? Well, I don't know of an amplifier ever made that does not add and subtract something. I don't think they exist. So let's correct the premise. All amplifiers, to some extent, add something and subtract something. And the challenge for any engineer building an amplifier, if we're in the high-end audio field where we're concerned with actually how it sounds more than how it measures, of course, both, but in that field, one has to make intelligent synergistic choices. So how do we do that? Well, if you look at, we've done, oh my goodness, how many amplifiers over the years? 50 years of building amplifiers, we've done everything. We had one of the very first class D amplifiers, the, the hybrid class A. That was one of the very first class D amplifiers and it sounded really good. How did we do that? Especially back then when the class D uh, PWM output stages were eh, rough. We added a synergistically coupled input stage that I worked very hard on and Bob Stadther and gosh, I um, oh, can't think of his name right now, um, John. But anyway, he worked on that as well. And what we did is smoothed out the, the hardness of that class D output stage with this really warm, juicy input stage. And together, it made music. Take Bascom King's circuit, the BHK series that, that we still have. That coupled a vacuum tube input stage with a really cool class AB high wattage output stage, right? And the, together, those two synergistically married and made great music. The new PMG amplifiers that we're working on that Darren Myers designed and, well, in collaboration with, with Bob Stadther, our chief engineer, who is currently laboring over all of them, that sounds more amazing than anything I have ever heard. And it's about as close as you're going to get to not losing anything and not adding anything. And he did that by virtue of controlling the open and closed loop gains, making sure that it was high bandwidth way beyond the area of hearing without feedback, and then all the other stuff that he does, and the few things that I've added in there for sonic qualities, like the kind of JFETs. You know, every JFET sounds different. Do they measure different? Sure. Do they sound different? Absolutely. So I could talk for hours on this, but I won't. I hope that helps.